flame on. Flame on. So this is the Fantastic Four Human Torch. Uh, this is the Chris Evans version. This is the uh, Human Torch Chris Evans version back in 2000s, 2003, 2004, 2006 film of the Human Torch. Yeah, this is not from the reboot. I am so honored to have the uh, to have this suit, and I think some of my followers. Some of my followers. I hate this neighborhood. I'm so sorry. I always get distracted by people coming by, passing by, coming, passing, whatever, walking, and anyways. Where was I? Oh, back when I ha used to have my old Twitter account before I renew it because I was hacked. Excuse me, there was hair in my mouth. And I had to create a new account. And um, I think this is one of the suits I have flaunted before. Uh, I think some of them, some of my followers love this Fantastic Four suit because they said it was sexy. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. But before, way back then, I wasn't able to appreciate it properly because I don't have any compression shirts. If I have thought about it last year, I think this would be a great suit. Yeah. But, uh, I also have some previous pictures of it. You can, well, maybe if you want to, I can upload that on my Twitter account. Anyways, so from, uh, from all from this side, since wearing the compression shirts, underneath actually I feel a little bit more tighter though I still hate the part on this uh, on my thighs there's still like loose ends or uh, but uh, when I used to wear this suit without the compression shirt on this part near the armpit it has loose ends on this one but now you can see no doesn't have even at my back. So I also love the part that the arms going here from the my from the arm part here from my from my pants going to the arm. They are so fit even way before. going on? I do apologize for the background noise. I don't know what the hell is going on with me. The neighborhood that I have. So, um, going back. Also, I, I want to compliment the chest part because from the chest part here from the Chris Evans Human Torch, you can see this underlining of the chest. Yeah, it looks like my boobs. Yeah, I have boobs like this. Yeah, but this is the chest part, and it looks like this is like a shadow. Yeah, before I was not able to appreciate this one properly, but now because of the compression shirt inside, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is the good part of it. Well, some of my, I don't know, some. People will always say because this is one of my suits. They always ask me, Do you have a face mask on it? I was like, Face mask? What do you mean? Like, shit. This kind of face mask, I know, it's just one uh, very corny joke. And I, I told them, I just don't wear any Spider Man suit. I can also wear other suits that are not just for Spider Man. Okay? I also do get tired because the concepts and um, I would say the availability of the suits, I cannot guarantee it's a 100%. One thing that I don't like from this suit, by the way, as well, you can see my neck, it's very loose. When I asked the designer, why is it so loose? It doesn't, I don't have a face mask. This is not a Spider-Man suit. See? I don't know who likes this sweater. Anyways. So I think that's all for this 
Uh, I will upload another set of videos maybe on Sunday for the Future Foundation suit. And I think the Superior Spider Man suit. And also, of course, it's better. I have to wash. <laughs> I have to wash this compression shirt and shorts. Of course, I do get sweat a lot because I do do jogging, brisk walking, and sometimes uh, physical activities. Nobody wants to have a smelly suit, uh, and I, I believe that some of my suits need to get washed. So that's all. Bye.